so I got my bike helmet in today. It's really, really nice. It's modular, so it becomes a half helmet. You see, you just hit this button here. It becomes a half helmet. You know, you could drink, eat, whatever. Put it back down when you're ready to ride. It also has a visor. Right here. For the sun. It has venting ports here. Venting ports. Quick release strap. Very premium. Quick release strap. Nice comfortable chin strap. It's actually a very nice helmet. BM2S. So this is just the Freedcon helmet. Looking at YouTube, I couldn't really find a review for a good Bluetooth helmet. Especially on this Freedcon. So I thought I'd make a quick one real quick. And this is just brand new. So this is the helmet, the matte black version, it's medium, and this is what it looks like. This is the little cover you get for the helmet itself. This is the Freedcon helmet, it's in matte black, it's a medium size. It's uh, Bluetooth, waterproof, weatherproof, it's extremely comfortable. It's a pretty sweet helmet um, so far from what I've seen. it comes. This is brand new, so this is what it looks like. It comes with this little box, which just comes with a manual and a cable. This is what's inside the box. This is what it looks like. Here's the manual. Shows you how to uh, install the battery, everything like that. Pull it out, charge it. That's one of them. Uh, here's the Bluetooth. User manual. And then what else is in it is just the cable to charge the helmet itself. To charge the helmet, it's back here. You just pull this right here and pull the little flap down. Once you get it off, it's right there. So you can see the batteries in there. And you just peel this cover back. And that's how you charge it. And once you're done charging, just put it right back. It takes three hours to charge um, fully. It has a nine hour intercon system. So with like two other helmets, it can be charged for nine hours. You can talk for nine hours. And then it's... Uh, 12 hour call time, 120 hour standby time. It has the regular visor, and then inside it has the shades. Pretty awesome for the sun, and it's easy to grab and, and flip up and everything like that when you're riding your motorcycle, so it's not like a huge hassle. They just flip up and down. Pretty easy. And then it also has the flip up of the full helmet itself, so it becomes a, a half face helmet, which is definitely nice when you want to get some air because you're riding and it gets hot and everything. You pull the shades down, that's what it looks like. The chin strap is super easy to use, it's really convenient. It's a lot better than the, the button ones, and you have to like wrap it around, everything like that. It's just a pull, so it just slides in. That's it, and then you just pull up to release it, so it comes off super easy, tightens down really easy, really comfortable on the inside. The speakers, you see them right there, there's one, and there's two, there's the second one, and they're really loud too, so they're not like 
bad speakers or anything. They're pretty nice. It has a lot of spots for like ventilation and everything like that. So when you're riding and everything, there's one here, one here, one down here. So it's pretty nice. Keeps your head nice and cool. This is the Bluetooth control. And it's pretty easy to get to when you're riding, so it's not like a hassle or anything. Um, all you got to do is, obviously, it's pretty self-explanatory. Volume up, you just twist, and it goes up with each click. And then volume down. And then to connect it, you just hold it for five seconds. Well, two to three seconds. It turns on. Once it's on, it's ready to pair. Then you pair it with your phone. You can play all your music. You can take calls, everything like that through here. I've had it for about maybe a week. Um, I've rode around with it and everything. It's pretty sweet. It's a nice helmet. It's definitely comfortable. The, the speakers are loud. Like I said before, the speakers are really loud, so that's nice. The Bluetooth connects easy. I haven't had any issues with Bluetooth at all. Um, it, it's a great helmet all around. The only thing I've had a tiny problem with, which um, was just the, the fogging. It fogged up a little bit here and there. But other than that... I haven't had any problems. So it's a super sweet helmet. It's awesome. I would so far I would definitely recommend it. Hey everyone, welcome. Today we're going to be going over the instructions on how to use the ILM Bluetooth integrated full face flip up helmet. The basic operations of the helmet are quite simple. On the outside, you have several air vents. Each of these air vents is opened or closed simply by pushing or pulling the tab forward or backward. For instance, this tab, I can push it forward to close it, pull it back to open it. As well as here in the front, I can pull this front air vent up to close it or down to open it. Opening the visor is equally as simple. Simply grab the tab located on the front bottom edge of the visor and pull up. To close the visor, simply grab the same tab and pull down. To use the full face flip up features of this helmet, it's very simple. Put your thumb underneath the front edge of the chin of the helmet, push in the button, and then pull, and the helmet will flip up. To flip the helmet back down, simply grab the helmet in the same place, pull back down until you hear a snap. Now the helmet's locked back in place and you're ready to ride. Now let's go over how to change the visor of this helmet. To change the visor, first open the visor all the way. Now that the visor is all the way open, you can see here on the side of the helmet that there's a switch that's been exposed. The switch is this small toggle right here. To release the visor from its bindings, simply pull back on this switch and the visor will be released. Do that on both sides and the visor is released. Now that you've detached the visor from your helmet, you can clean it or you can replace it with a different visor. ILM also sells tinted visors for these helmets. To attach the visor to the helmet, you repeat the steps that we did to detach it in reverse. The first step is to place the visor back in the open position on the helmet. Once the visor is in that position, then pull the switch back in order to snap the, the visor back in place. Now that your visor is attached back on your helmet, you can close it and you're ready to ride. Next, we'll go over detachment and replacement of the inner pads on the inside of the helmet. To detach a pad from the helmet, place your thumb in between the helmet shell and the pad and pull down sharply. The buttons that attach the helmet pad to the helmet will unsnap and you'll be able to release the inner pad from the helmet. This gives you the ability to either change the pads out or clean them. Once you've received your new pads or you've cleaned your old pads and you wanna replace them back in the helmet, Simply place the pads back in and re-snap each of the buttons. A word of caution, as you're detaching the pads, the pad that's on the left hand side of the helmet also has the microphone for the Bluetooth system embedded within the pad. Therefore, as you detach it, first pull firmly down on the pad as before, and then you can remove the microphone from the pad before completely detaching it from the helmet itself. When you replace the pad, remember to stick the microphone back in to the pad so that you can still use the microphone Bluetooth functionality of the helmet. Just like the inner pads, the chin strap pad is also removable on this helmet. To remove the chin strap, 
Grab the chin strap by the edge and then push towards the outside of the helmet while you rotate it towards the inside of the helmet and it will pop right out. Reverse that to put it back in. Now let's talk about the operation for the chin strap of this helmet. The chin strap of this helmet has an interlocking tooth system that makes sure that the helmet stays tight around your head as you're riding. To use, simply insert the buckle into the clasp until the helmet is tightened firmly around your chin. To release, simply pull the red tab. If the tooth part of the locking mechanism breaks, a replacement can be purchased online. Now that we've gone over all of the physical attributes of this helmet, let's go over the Bluetooth system. When you receive your helmet, you'll also receive a box inside the helmet that contains all of the Bluetooth parts. You'll receive an instruction booklet. You'll receive the battery and Bluetooth receiver. You'll receive a wall charger and a USB cable in order to charge your Bluetooth unit. This Bluetooth receiver is incredibly important because it contains both the battery and the sender receiver unit. This way, if the receiver ever breaks, it's very easy to purchase a new one, remove the old one from the helmet, and place the new one inside the system. That way, you don't have to replace your whole helmet. To place the receiver inside the helmet, first flip the helmet over. Now that you can see the bottom of the helmet, pull the red tab at the back of the helmet to expose the Bluetooth receiver location. Using a fingernail or some other thin object, simply open up the receiver port. Once that's open, take your Bluetooth receiver and lining up the teeth of the Bluetooth receiver with the holes on the inside of the port, insert the Bluetooth receiver into the helmet. Make sure that the Bluetooth receiver is pushed all the way in. There should be no part of the receiver that's sticking out of the hole. Once the receiver is fully inserted, you can then replace the cap on top of the port and replace the strap around the cap. Whenever you need to charge the Bluetooth receiver, simply open up the strap and you can use the wall charger to plug in that USB cable and charge your helmet. One more word of caution. If your receiver ever does break and you need to remove it from the helmet, you can remove it using this small handle here. However, the handle is not overly strong. So as you bring it out of the hole, it's great to have something that's thin, strong, but also very wide, like a butter knife. If you try and pull it out with something like pliers or tweezers, you risk breaking the handle. If the handle breaks, it becomes very difficult to remove the receiver from the helmet. Now that the battery is in the unit, you can turn it on. To turn the unit on, push the Bluetooth controller button for about five seconds. You'll hear a beep on the speakers from the inside of the helmet, and a blue light will start to flash. To connect the helmet with your phone, the first thing you need to do is turn on the helmet by holding the Bluetooth connector button for five seconds. However, once the helmet turns on, don't let go. Continue holding it for about another five seconds. The blue light will flash, and then another red light will start to flash. Once this red light has started to flash, now you are in Bluetooth connection mode. Turn on the Bluetooth on your mobile device and find the device in the list of devices. The helmet should be called BM2-S and wait for the two to pair. Once your cell phone is paired with your helmet, you'll hear a double beep from inside the helmet speakers. Now you can listen to music, you can listen to radio, you can even take calls while you're riding. To listen to music, select your music app, start the music on your phone. The music will play through the speakers inside of the headset. To listen to music on your phone or mobile device, simply start the music on your device. Once the music is started, you can adjust the volume by pulling back to raise the volume or pushing forward on the Bluetooth controller knob to lower the volume. To pause the music, simply hold the Bluetooth controller knob all the way back or all the way forward for about two seconds. This will pause the music. To resume the music, simply repeat that action. Now we're going to talk about how to connect two helmets together. The first step is to disconnect your helmet from all other Bluetooth devices. This means either turning off other helmets that your helmet has been connected to, or turning off the Bluetooth on your mobile device. We turn both helmets on and put them both into download mode by holding the Bluetooth controller knob for about 10 seconds. Once both helmets are in download mode, push the Bluetooth controller knob on one of the helmets. The helmets will search for each other and find each other automatically. You should hear a beep in both helmets. 
Now that these helmets are both connected, you can use the walkie-talkie mode to speak between each of the units as you ride down the road. These helmets have the ability to connect three helmets at a time. To connect three helmets at a time, first turn all of the helmets off and remove any other Bluetooth devices. Then connect helmet one and helmet two. After connecting helmets one and two, turn them both off. Then connect helmets two and three. Once helmets two and three are connected, turn them both off and then connect helmets one and three. Each helmet is connected using the exact same method, holding the Bluetooth control knob for about 10 seconds as you turn the helmet on to turn it into download or connection mode, and then simply pressing the knob one more time in order to have one helmet search, find, and connect to the other. Once all three helmets are connected, turn your helmet on by holding the Bluetooth control knob for about five seconds. While three helmets can be connected simultaneously, only two helmets can be speaking to each other at one time. This means that you need to toggle between the other two people in the conversation. To toggle, simply hit the Bluetooth control button once to speak to the first helmet connected, or twice in quick succession to speak to the second helmet that was connected to your particular helmet. Your phone can still stay connected to your Bluetooth helmet while connected with the other two helmets. You can also receive phone calls while using this helmet even when connected with all of the other helmets. This means that if you don't want to listen to the conversation of the other two in the group, you can toggle from walkie-talkie mode into Bluetooth mode with your cell phone by hitting the Bluetooth controller once. If you receive a call while your phone is connected to your helmet, simply tap the Bluetooth controller knob once to receive the call. When you want to finish the call, tap the knob again. This helmet also has three color choices, matte black, white, and red. And that's all for this instructional video on the ILM Bluetooth integrated full face flip up helmet. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to contact us. And as always, ride safe. Hey everyone, I'm Matt with Chaparral Motorsports. Today we are gonna talk about the Torque T14 full face street helmet with Blink communication system. Let's have a look. So what do we have here? We have a full face street helmet that comes with a Blink communication system under 200 bucks. So it has a tremendous value factor here and it looks great. We're gonna talk about the unit more in just a second. First, let's go over the helmet. Now what you get here is an ABS shell that is lightweight, it's durable, and it's DOT and ECE rated for safety. And just the overall appearance of the helmet looks very aggressive, has really clean lines, and I like the ventilation system. You have a defroster in the front that's fully adjustable, an intake scoop at the top of the crown that's adjustable as well. You have two positions, open and closed, and then you have a series of extractor vents, including some vents on the side to really give you that nice flow through effect and get some fresh air pumping through the helmet. The face shield, it's optically correct, it's fog free, scratch free, and what's really cool is that they add tabs on both sides so it's easy to get to with either hand. Now, the other value factor that you get with this helmet is that it comes with a drop down sun visor that has a very smooth motion to it, which I really liked. The mechanism to change the shield out is pretty basic, but it's simple and straightforward. You have a little lever at the very back, it's gonna pop that shield off and then you can make changes on the go. Now on the back, you're also gonna notice this spoiler. This is gonna create some downforce and also some stability with the helmet. I will say that this is gonna be more beneficial to those of you that are in that three quarter riding position. It's not as aggressive enough for the full tucked and you really don't wanna wear this in the full upright. So three quarter is gonna work best with this helmet. Now this is more of an entry level. Again, it is under 200 bucks and the Bluetooth unit has some basic features that will get the job done. I'm also gonna recommend that this is a helmet that's gonna be perfect for rider to passenger. Now, the Blink system is very low profile. You can see here that it's almost seamless with the side of the helmet. It's very easy to control because it has very few buttons. You have a control button in the center that is a push button. It has multiple functions and it also has a bit of a jog dial that has a quarter turn stop. So refer to your owner's manual, make sure you get comfortable with this and all the settings before you take off. Now talk time is about four to six hours and you're gonna see 12 hours of standby. You have really about a range of 30 to 50 feet if you decide to do rider to rider communication or intercom. The other great thing about it is that you can stream music, MP3 player, you can get turn by turn directions with your cell phone, you're gonna get GPS right into this helmet and the speakers are already integrated into the cheek pads or the side of the helmet rather. 
You will see that it doesn't have a boom system for the microphone. It's tucked into the padding and the charging port's at the back of the liner and it's very discreet and you don't notice that it's there. As far as the actual liner itself, it's very comfortable, it's plush. It's going to be moisture wicking. You can remove it and wash it. Just make sure you be careful with all the cords with that system there. So that is just a very quick look at the Torque T14 Mako full face helmet with the Blink communication system. There's tons of color options available. You can find them all on the site, shopmoto.com. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. I'm Matt, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. If you're interested in buying one of these products, links to all the products mentioned in this video are in the description down below. If you like and found this video helpful, don't forget to give a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.